Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Kirby games on the Wii. Kirby's Epic Yarn is a masterpiece. The game is a platformer, but not of the stereotypical kind. The creativity of the level designs and the way you progress in the levels is unique. Each level feels different and makes you play the game with a grin on your face. The game is cute. From the cute visuals to the cute animations you see everywhere in the game, Kirby can transform into multiple things like a train, a submarine, a huge robot, a fire truck, and you can also play the game in co-op. The blue character is called Prince Fluff. Hardcore gamers and challenge-seeking individuals though should stick to their Dark Souls, because this game is fairly easy. You can't die in the game, and it's easy to finish the levels. But what will be challenging in the game is to finish it with all the collectibles completed. Overall, I consider Kirby's Epic Yarn a masterpiece you should definitely play. The game is cute, relaxing, and will put you up in a good mood for sure. Kirby's Return to Dreamland returns to the old tried and true formula of a platformer where the cute pink guy absorbs enemies and uses their abilities. The levels are creative and colorful, as usual in a Kirby game, and new to the gameplay are the super abilities, which are exactly what the name says. They are abilities, but a bit larger in scale. And this game too, by the way it's executed, is again a masterpiece. Kirby's Dream Collection is a collection of 6 retro Kirby games and some extra challenge stages from Return to Dreamland. And the game includes Kirby's Dreamland, which came in 1992, Kirby's Adventure, which came in 1993, Kirby's Dreamland 2, which came in 1995, Kirby's Superstar, which came in 1996, Kirby's Dreamland 3, which came in 1997, and Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, which came in the year 2000. And the game is fantastic, but considering that they are just emulations, Nintendo could have put more Kirby games into this collection. You get the Kirby Game Museum, where you can see all Kirby games released up to this game. And from there, you realize how few of the games you get to play in this collection. And the game, I mean the collection, also includes 3 episodes of the Kirby anime. And overall, the game collection is good. I mean sure, some more games would have been great. But still, I can see that the content is short, since playing the game collection takes you around 14 hours and a half to finish. Oh, and just know that the special edition is the only edition. There is no standard edition of this game. There is only the special edition. Overall, it's a good 20 year celebration collection. I mean, you get the first 6 Kirby games released, you get some extra levels from the latest game released before this collection, which makes you realize how the franchise has progressed through the years, because after you jump from the first 6 games, when you jump to the newest game, you realize how the franchise has progressed. And for a tribute collection, the game collection does its job very well.